All right, Curtis Hoffman's place today. We're looking at bikes. He's building some bikes for some of my friends that he's working on. So um, he's going to show us his shop, what he's got going, and uh, we'll go from there. That sounds fantastic. Say anything? Basically, we, we're Hoffman Designs. We build a lot of baggers. We're kind of changing up what we're doing, going more performance style and things like that now. We did a lot of big wheel baggers, but trying to blend them, give you a more rideable bike and things like that. SNS motors? SNS motors, you know, doing everything. I mean, trying to lighten the bikes up instead of making them 10 feet long, we're making them stock length and instead of adding 400 pounds we're trying to take away a couple hundred pounds you know doing a lot of carbon fiber stuff now um, you know we still love the big wheel baggers we still do a good amount of them they're still fun to look at they're still a challenge to build and have fun with and getting them going and you got to have different things going on that's right they look good well uh, we'll walk around look at a couple of your bikes you got in in the house here perfect excellent are you ready yeah ready. you ready let's go all right, this is a 2017 Road King that we did. Uh, we built it for Sturgis last year. Uh, basically, we always start with a brand new bike. Uh, this was my personal bike that, you know, wanted to build, wanted to try something new, different style, do some of our new parts on it and things like that. Um, basically, again, we wanted that race style, something a little bit different than what we're known for and what we're always doing. So, stripped it down, I mean, it had like, 10 or 11 miles on it when we got it um you know we built the gas tank we put recessed knee pockets in it you know we manufacture the dash uh we make this piece we make the uh, nacelle on it here these are fiberglass parts and then our biggest thing again is carbon fiber carbon fiber carbon fiber so this is a 21 inch front wheel we've got a genuine carbon fiber front fender We've got genuine carbon fiber side covers, saddlebags, lids, rear fender. That's what we've been working on a lot lately. Um, biggest thing about this bike is um, it's a new Milwaukee 8 motor. We ended up, we stripped it down. We built a 120 out of it, um, did the heads, did a cam, did a throttle body, did injectors, air cleaner, pipe. I mean, did everything. This is one of those bikes for no turbo, no supercharger, no none of that. You crack the throttle and it really moves. So. Beyond that, I mean, we kind of did our usual, except, you know, on smaller wheels. Um, they're BST carbon fiber wheels. Um, you know, we got air ride front and rear on it. You know, Mustang C. We got, you know, Kiryakin floorboards, pegs. Um, just a really fun little bike to rip around and ride. I mean, we've got Behringer hand controls on it, so the thing stops on a dime. It's got Nest big brakes on it. Um, just a fun little bike to rip around. Did you ride it much at all? Yeah, I think we put, I, I mean, for us riding a lot is one we're always working. I think it's got like five or 600 miles on it. Um, we actually rode that bike right there to Sturgis from Vegas. So this one here? Yeah, this, well, this red one here. So this red one right here, what we ended up doing, kind of the same principle concept was we went out, actually found a used 2017 Street Glide um, again, Milwaukee 8 motor and things like that, it was bone stock. What we ended up doing is everything like this and we wanted to build a bike that we could ride to Sturgis, have fun, be comfortable, get off, you know, not be tired, not be wore out, you know, throw it around. You know, we put, I think our trip was right about 3,000 miles. Um, we shipped the bike to Vegas and then we rode the bike from Vegas all the way up the west coast and then straight over into Sturgis. Um, Again, same kind of principle as that bike, except with this one, we did um, Legend suspension in the front, Legend suspension in the back, you know, Nest brakes, BST wheels, um, you know, Clockworks axle, Clockworks windshield, Clockworks handlebars, you know, just really use parts that are user friendly and keep you comfortable, keep you having fun and not getting fatigued, and, you know, and everything like that. Um, the carbon fiber. Yep, we did all of our carbon fiber again. Actually, this is the first bike we did with all of our carbon fiber parts. So again, the side covers, the bags, the lids, the rear fender. Um, I Actually, it's got the front fender and carbon fiber as well, but I can't keep them in stock. So I sold the one off of my bike to get a customer that one, you know, that they needed one for a show. And so my bike sits without a fender on it for a little bit. Yeah. But again, Behringer hand controls um you know brian at finish line painted it you know 
whipped us up a really badass, you know, clean, you know, red paint job on, you know, just a couple of parts. Um, Mustang did a, you know, Revere seat on it for us. That's all red. Legends built us uh, one-off red shocks. So we've got custom shocks on it right from Legends. Track Dynamics aluminum swing arm. We've got a chain conversion on it. This one's got what I like to call a hodgepodge Milwaukee 8 motor. It's a 114, but you know we did it before anybody really had any kits or anything like that out. So we kind of grabbed a couple parts from this guy, grabbed some parts from this guy, had a little bit of machine work done. You know, did a big throttle body, air cleaner pipe, everything like that. Uh, again, it's just a really fun bike to ride. And then aluminum swing arm? Yep, so it's an aluminum swing arm from Track Dynamics. Again, it shaves about, I think it was 15 or 17 pounds from the stock swing arm. So like on this bike right here, what we ended up doing is kind of for a weight comparison, we probably shaved north of 100 pounds off of it um, by doing, you know, the carbon fiber, you know, back end of ours, uh, the wheels in carbon fiber from BST, the track dynamic swing arm, you know, gutting the big, you know, 30 pound stock exhaust off of it, putting a shorty little stainless pipe on it. You know, north of 100 pounds was shaved off of this bike really easily. So again, playing with that power to weight combination that makes it where, you know, you start shaving weight, your power is there and, and very responsive. So, nice bike. really fun one to ride. For a customer, it's a customer's bike. Basically, he bought it brand new. Another, it's a 2017 uh, Milwaukee 8 Road Glide. He had a bunch of stuff done at the dealership. Didn't like what the dealership did, so basically it showed up here and we changed out the bars. We blacked out a lot of stuff for him. We blacked out his wheels, um, running one of our carbon fiber front fenders. Um, did a clockworks windshield, uh, we're doing suspension on it, we're doing all the floorboards and everything like that on it. I'm going to give him a really nice daily rider performance bagger style bike. He's going to run a Mustang seat on it, uh, we're going to put Legend suspension on the back of it. So it's going to be a really kick ass everyday bike for the guy to ride, enjoy, be comfortable on it and just have a good time. You know, go out, throw it around, go enjoy the roads. Um, you know, not have to worry about, you know, scra you know, scraping the backs of the bags and dragging the fender and, you know, all those things that you get with a big wheel bagger. You know, big wheel baggers look cool and, and we can ride the shit out of them. There's absolutely no reason why you can't do it. We, we've done it many, many times, but at the end of the day, this is what's fun to ride for us. You know, big wheel baggers absolutely ride the shit out of them, but these bikes are fun to ride when you're doing it. Yeah. So what are these just bikes? You uh, these see? are all customer bikes. Um, this is a bike that uh, got traded in for one of our bikes and it's been sold. And we're just waiting for the guy to come pick it up. Um, but really gorgeous bike that Trask built a couple years ago. Um, the middle bike, that black road glide there, that is for sale. Uh, that's a Covington Customs bike, really nice bike. A um, lot of really nice work was done on that one by those guys. Um, and then the blue and silver one there on the end, that's one that we built about four years ago um, for a customer. That one is 26 inch wheel, matching rear wheel. Uh, that's got an SNS 124 in it, you know, Misfit exhaust on it. Bagger Nation handlebars. We built the gas tank on it. Our fab guy Marshall did the did the gas tank on that one. So it's all hand stretched, uh, the hand inlay in it, um, and then it's got our stretch side covers, our stretch saddle bags, our stretch rear fender um, that we you know that we manufacture as well. So um, you know a little bit different you know deal. It's got a lot of Arlen Nest parts on it, a lot of chrome on it. Um, really nice bike, you know, to ride. It, it, it gets up in boogies with a 124 in it. Excellent. Uh, so what are you building in back? Uh, we got a few things going on. Um, 
Kind of the biggest things we've got going on right now is we're building this one right now for your buddy Denny. It is a 2015 Road Glide Special. Um, what we actually did is it's a bike we built a couple years ago for the Hot Bike Power Tour, the Bagger side. We were one of the, I think it was 10 invited builders to build a bike, ride it across the country. Uh, the ride was about 1,200 miles. Um, you had to be a part of it, you had to ride, you know, if your bike broke down, you weren't eligible for anything like that. Um, so we built it, we used it, we had it for a while. Um, a customer of mine that's bought a lot of our bikes from us, he had it for about a year. Um, decided he wanted to kind of thin down on how many bikes he owned. Um, so we made a deal with Denny and what we ended up doing is absolutely stripping it down to last every nut and bolt. Um, and taking a show bike, a show winning bike, and going absolutely 10 steps further than what it was to begin with. So we stripped it down, um, repainted the frame. The frame was black because the bike was black and green. Um, so Brian at Finish Line repainted everything. Um, a really killer, crazy red. It's a candy with flake under it. I mean, in here it looks dark and burgundy, but in the sun it's you know put your sunglasses on and, and it's it's bright um you know then he came in and said i want the whole drivetrain polished so engine transmission primary starter everything came completely down to every last nut and bolt everything got shipped out got shipped down to ohio to get fully polished um and then we put it all back together it is a 124 it's actually a pretty built 124 it's uh, high compression 124, the heads were built, the throttle body's built. Um, this is getting a CMP turbo put back on it. Um, so this one was rated, was dynoed at 195 horse at the rear wheel on pump gas and an eight pound boost spring. So this one, hold on, it's, it's, it's moving pretty good. So uh, right now we're just kind of, you know, we're trying to get the final approval on graphics and paint from the new owner so it can get painted and then uh, it'll be back together and ready to go. We're hoping to have it done for the uh, Donnie Smith Bike Show in March. Excellent. So kind of it's in the in the progress stage. Um, a lot of what we do you know, on these bikes is we hand fabricate the whole, basically from here and here forward, we manufacture all that. Um, again, we've got an amazing fab guy, Marshall, that I mean, can whip this stuff up and I mean, we've kind of been doing a lot of lay frame stuff. So we manufacture the battery box, the swing arm, we modify the subframe. Um, we've got a fail safe system. So if you ever lose air, the fail safe will catch before the bike hits the ground, um, which has been very proprietary to us for the last six years since we've been doing these lay frame bikes. Um, so a lot of things go into that. I mean, this bike is fully wired and you have no wires, no cables, no hoses, no brake lines, you know, nothing whatsoever visible, no airlines. Um, you've got a couple things hanging out right now until they get buttoned up, but all the wiring is run in the lower frame rails, in the backbone, um, you know, everything like that. Handlebars have absolutely nothing exposed. Just a lot of those little things that, you know, that we do, you know, running all the brake lines and everything internal that Unfortunately, a lot of bagger guys don't do it. You got a lot of the custom pro street and chopper guys that have been doing it for 20, 30, 40 years. And you know, that's where my inspiration comes from is clean it up like those guys can do it, you know, but for some reason, bagger guys don't seem to do that too often. So we try and take all of the, you know, choppers and bobbers and pro street stuff and the style they've been doing it and incorporate it in something like this. Looks good. Can't um, wait to see it together. Another one we're working on, kind of a quick project uh, for a guy out of North Dakota. Older bike, earlier bike. Um, he wanted us to put our touch to it, so we slammed it. We're making it lay frame for him. It's a 23 inch wheel. Um, and, and then keeping it kind of, you know, regular dual exhaust out the back, four inch bags. He's getting a new paint job. Um, so we're just kind of cleaning this one up, giving him some modifications and giving them some upgrades and updates, you know, cleaning up some of the work that was done in the past. 
Um, you just putting a fender on this a new fender for it? Yeah, this well this fender was here. Basically what we ended up doing is to make the bike lay frame lay flat on the ground. Um, you know, we've got to redo the suspension, we've got to redo the swing arm, we've got to redo everything in the back. And then also this is one of those deals where our fab guy Marshall took a the fender that was on it was metal, so that was nice, but ended up had to add three and a half inches in it, cut it open, pie it. And you know he really you know this will go right on there now allows for that rear wheel to go up into the into the bike now into the fender so the whole chassis gets dropped down so another one that we should have done in the next couple of months um, you know it'll all get cleaned up dialed in and you know everything like that it was already on a 23 inch wheel so actually we ended up making it lay frame without having to cut the neck um, any more than it already was from somebody previously so basically we had to do the fab on the back new battery box all that kind of stuff and then uh, the front was you know air ride and everything else is you know what was already there so it's kind of how that one worked out this is the bike just in for service um, this is kind of our new project that we're doing we will have this done for the Donnie Smith show as well um, Kind of what we're doing is a blend between a big wheel bagger and a performance bagger. Um, I, I'm really on a kick of performance baggers, lightening it up, you know, putting carbon fiber on it, everything like that. Well, I want people to grasp and realize that these bikes that, you know, are built for performance, they can look good too. So we're really going above and beyond on this one. So what we ended up doing is taking a bike, it's actually a 2012 Road Glide. Um, what we did is we cut the neck, we put a misfit slip neck in it for a 26 inch wheel. Um, we ran their triple trees, their front uh, uh, fairing support on it. And then a 2012 was a 41 millimeter front end. We actually did a full conversion on it. So it's a 49 millimeter front end. So the whole front end is now 14 and later style. Uh, we got Legends Performance suspension in it. So it's their new Axio suspension for a 14 and later in it. Um, so this thing is going to ride amazing. It'll get Legends shocks out back. Um, it's an Arlen S 26 inch front wheel, misfit front fender that we're putting on a diet and shaving, I think about 20 inches off of it, I think is what we just came up with. Um, all Arlen S front end, uh, their 10 gauge stuff, really gorgeous parts. Um, and then again, we just went through it and chromed everything, you know, doing all 12 point hardware on it. It's gonna have MJK performance handlebars, risers, floorboards, pegs, shifter, uh, chain drive, their cush drive kit. Um, it's getting a SNS 124 motor in it uh, with their air cleaner set up. It's gonna run Delphi fuel injection. Um, we've got a gas tank with knee pockets cut in it. It's gonna run our dash on it. Uh, again, a Mustang seat aluminum swing arm, matching rear wheel, all carbon fiber back end. So it's gonna be all, we do a lot of these reflective carbon fibers, you know, from gold to red to purple. Uh, this one's gonna be all purple. Brian at Finish Line's gonna paint everything on it. He's gonna do, uh, the base coat is the gray that this frame is. Um, and then it's gonna have some kind of race car, um, indie car style, you know, striping in it and, and you know, and things like that in, you know, bright silvers and blacks and things like that to really accent the purple carbon fiber and accent the chrome. Um, so, you know, we'll do that again. We're putting the 15 and later um, inner and outer fairing on it. So if you look at this bike, you know, it's gonna have 14 and later bags on it. You're not gonna know that it's a 2012. You're not gonna know that it's not a 2016. You know, it's everything is gonna be the same as a brand new bike. Um, with all the conversions and making all the you know new parts fit the old bike and things like that. Now, this bike is for you. Personal this, bike? yep, this is one for me. This is the one I'm trying to say I'm going to keep. We'll see how that works because it never seems to work that way. Um, but you know, my big thing is trying to do a blend. I've always liked big wheel baggers. I'm really into you know the styling of things, designing cool things. Um, but I want the rideability of it too, where, you know, this one's gonna be set up on Legend suspension, taller handlebars, you know, really an aggressive riding bike. Um, but it's still gonna have flash, it's still gonna have, you know, people drawn to it and 
it's going to be a blend of, like I said, performance bagger and big wheel bagger, kind of, you know, go head to head. And, you know, there's only a couple other guys that have bikes like this. Um, and, and they're a really gorgeous bike. And it's just, they're cool. Cool. That's, so, that's what we're looking for. That, that's exactly it. So we're trying to do something a little bit different. You know, I get always asked all the time, where are you, you're riding that bike? And it's, you know, it's because it's not on a big wheel or anything like that. And it's not chrome and you know whatnot so we really wanted to do something that was a little bit different and i like to build what i want and then yeah every once in a while put, put one together for yourself well exactly so but yeah this is one i mean you know last year i did a little shovel head um i like that bike really wanted to keep it but you know i get bored really easily and then i sell it and then i kick myself for selling it and this will be two years Two years. Yeah, if, if that, so we'll see. I mean, I'm trying to get myself oriented to making this work and, you know, going this style. So. Cool. Well, we'll be out. We'll see how they come along. We'll get with Denny, talk about the paint. Brian's here now and Denny's on his way. So we just keep getting further ahead every day. Perfect. All right. Thank you. That's the motor for it, and then that's the carbon fiber for it. So it's going to be all purple carbon fiber on the bike. Oh, cool. So all the bags, the fender, the side covers, everything will be done in this, and then Brian will paint it. Over the carbon fiber? Nah, no, we're going to leave the whole back end like how that is. So the front end of the bike will be painted, and then the back end will be all raw purple carbon fiber. Excellent. And that big motor, and everything chromed and polished, and all that fun stuff. 124, so that's the only way to go up these rascals. Absolutely. That guy right there. Yeah. And then I'll get an aluminum swing arm, aluminum subframe, got as much weight off it as possible. Should work. Turbo? Nope. Injected? I need your money. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Nah, it's fuel injected. We'll just do a two into one little shorty pipe like what's on that bike. Little air cleaner on it, and that's about it. Excellent. So, do a little bit of different. We'll have high, like high rise handlebars on it, and shorten it up, lighten it up as much as possible. Try and keep up with you. There you go. <laughs>